Hey you guys. Quick little tutorial. My first as a matter of fact. The Camaro, no exhaust. And now it came with an exhaust. And it was the up and over the rear axle type stock stuff. And I thought maybe I'd go a little more hot rodded. So I'm going to try and make an exhaust. And I took some sheet styrene, a little hole punch, kind of school type supply stuff, exacto knife, tube styrene. Just found something that I thought was kind of scale to what I was going to try. And I've closed off one end with the uh, punched out material. I'll do the same at this end. And then a piece of the sprue. That's all it is. I'll go from the header to one end of this. And I may get a smaller piece of sprue just to show the difference in the size. But uh, this here would be what they used to call them a cherry bomb glass packs. No law riders, I'm sure, no. I don't even know if they still make them anymore. But these stupid things could make a jalopy of a car. God awful car. Sound like a beast. And then that's why everybody had to have them. You know, I forget what they were, 25 bucks each to make your car sound like a just, yeah, full blown race car. Who didn't want that? Now the styrene, as far as the sprue, I guess I'm going to try and bend it, melt it. I don't know. I'm going to try a candle. I haven't seen a video on how to do it yet. I'm going to use the drill to tap it out. And I'm going to have it exhaust pretty soon after it comes out of the glass pack. Before it gets to the rear axle, I'll have it dump out onto the ground. That's kind of the way we did it when when I was looking into hot rods and farting around with them and spending money on them. So I'll check back in when I get a little more work done. See ya. Hey, good morning, guys. It's going to be the second part uh, of my exhaust build, my little tutorial video. So this is similar to the hot rod exhaust that would have been used in my day. Instead of cherry bombs, they might have used flow masters. Uh, I didn't see material to make flow masters right off the bat. Right off the bat, so I went with these. And I noticed looking at them too that, well, if I ever decided to make some kind of custom rat semi rod zombie machine I don't know that that also resembles a a semi stack as well at least I think it does I'm gonna have to notch out a little bit of the bottom of the pan of the car just to get it tucked up under there tight enough so I probably could have used a little smaller material if I'd had it uh, another little step I wanted to show because it did pan Disclaimer out. on the next portion of this tutorial. Uh, live fire will be used. So if you're young, check with mom and dad before you go trying this. Nobody wants to see you hurt yourself or anybody else. Seriously. But that, that thought of nothing is going to happen. Something always happens. That's how people end up on the news. So, seriously, talk to your parents. You know what? Talk to your dad. He may come in just to watch over you, see your interest that you have in your modeling, and come home with a trunk full of models for you tomorrow. That could happen. Save modeling. See ya. Hopefully, I don't burn the house down. And a lot of you may know this already, may not. 
but uh, to get it to bend that was kind of all it took kind of press it against the table and it just takes a minute for it to harden back up but uh, I don't know I can see roll cages in the future uh, more custom exhausts for sure you name it possibilities are endless that's it guys hope your Sunday's going well hope your weekend was awesome and uh, looking forward to watching some videos today thanks guys see ya